Yo, yo, what's happening, fellas? Welcome back to the channel. Good morning. I know you guys have been wondering what my workout routine is like nowadays. I did buy some weights, okay? I'm not gonna be using them for this video. This video is only gonna be body weights and minimal equipments that you guys should probably have around your house. Just to put it out there, I am not a fitness expert. I am not a fitness expert, okay? And also, the YouTube algorithm might recommend this video to a different audience. So if you guys don't know me, my name is Johnny Ty. I make fashion and lifestyle videos, mainly talk about streetwear, tech wear, and a little bit of casual menswear. So if you guys like that stuff, subscribe. Appreciate it. And this workout isn't really gonna get you that big either. If you wanna get swole, if you wanna get huge, go to the gym, get a gym membership, but obviously there's a pandemic happening right now and I am not going to the gym. But if you have been lifting weights all your life, then these body weight exercises might be a good switch up for you because there's different types of strength. There's body weight control and then there's like actual physical strength. You can get stronger with body weight, you can get stronger with weight weights, it's just gonna be a little bit harder for body weights, hence why you can't really get too swole with it but I don't really care about getting swole, nor do I ever care about getting swole. I'm pretty happy with my physique right now. It's very slim, slender, not in the best shape, but there's just more to life than an aesthetic physique. So take what you guys want from this video. You guys can incorporate this in your current workout routine if you'd like. This is just what I do, and this is more for maintenance reasons and maybe slimming down a little bit. And yes, this is a full body workout, no equipment. I'd say full body workouts have been part of my routine for almost all my fitness life, so let's get into this workout. Hello, everyone. <laughs> we start off the workout by skipping rope, something I've always liked doing because I'm not really a big fan of cardio cardio, like running and jogging and all that, maybe sprinting. I just find that skipping rope is a lot more fun because you can progress with it. As I was filming this, uh, the jump rope just fell apart, but I fixed it and I usually just skip rope for around you know, 10, 15 minutes. This is really more of a warm up and it is a little bit of cardio and you know, the worst part about <laughs> just skipping rope is you whip yourself sometimes. But yeah, for me, I usually like sweating before I start getting into my workout. And then I just like to roll my shoulders so I can get them loose. And if your parents are like my dad, he does this whenever he warms up in the morning. And then we start off with one of my favorite exercises and, and it is honestly where I got a lot of my shoulder development from, and that is handstand push-ups. This is really advanced. I know that a lot of people won't be able to do this. So, and I know my form is not that great, okay? I'm, I'm not a gymnast or anything, but if you wanna progress, just start off with the trying to do handstands against the wall and then just do handstand push-ups with one foot against the wall. It's gonna be less strenuous. And then you can move on to full handstand push-ups against the wall. And then you can just try throwing handstands to see if you can balance with it. And then you, that's how you progress, guys. It took me at least two or three months to be able to balance with handstands. So it's gonna take a while. Next exercise up, we have one arm push-ups, inclined, by the way. This is more challenging for me and that's why it's like one of the first exercises to do. I know a lot of people can't do it, but I've been able to progress with one arm push-ups even though I can only do like three on my right arm and two on my other. <laughs> but I've been practicing this for years on end. That's why I like bodyweight exercises. It makes it a lot more fun than just lifting heavier. But if you can't do one arm pushups, it's totally cool. Just do regular pushups on a bench or you can use a chair to incline yourself. That's the hardest pushup you can do. And what you wanna do is just focus on your form. <laughs> Don't arch your butt, keep your back straight and leveled. And then if you can't do that, it's totally cool. No worries, man. Just do regular pushups. And I, I know I'm saying this in the video, but you wanna squeeze your arms together and that's gonna give you a better squeeze on the chest. It keeps you focused on putting tension on the chest if, when you squeeze your hands together, but don't actually squeeze your hand together. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Okay, now guys, I wanna be real with you. You need some sort of resistance, okay? Your muscles can't tell if whatever you're lifting is made out of iron or if it's made out of stupid college textbooks. So for me, I like to throw my college textbooks into my backpack and use that as resistance so that they're finally useful. You know, I never found them useful in college. You know, I was a mechanical engineer, was the worst mechanical engineer possible. But anyways, this is a push-pull superset that you guys can do. Um, I don't personally do this one, but basically it starts with, you know, single arm bent over rows. And what this works is your rear delt Delts, which a lot of people need to work more on because we usually work our front delts and our side delts so this is a good alternative for a back exercise i like to do it elevated that way the backpack doesn't hit the floor and then i just follow it up with a superset of chair dips so if you have two chairs just put them side by side and then you can do dips with them if you don't have two chairs or anything which i highly doubt you could use a counter with a right angle in it and it's just as effective for a home body weight exercise. But for me, I do have some equipment. So I have a pull-up bar and gymnastic rings. I've had these gymnastic rings since like 2014. And then I throw on my backpack and then you can do dips with them. Gymnastic ring dips, I'm telling you, is like one of the hardest exercises to do. You have to use your stabilizer muscles and you have to balance with it. It's really difficult, okay? So I like to do dips with those with a backpack on and then I superset that with a quote unquote drop set. So I just take off the backpack and just do regular body weight dips. So if you can't do weighted dips, it's cool. We can just start off with this and that's really it. 
Uh, then immediately after that, I do a superset of weighted pull-ups. So I throw on the backpack again, then I do weighted pull-ups. With pull-ups, you wanna make sure your form is right as well. You wanna really stretch out all the way to the bottom. Most people, they half-ass their pull-ups and they look ridiculous. <laughs> but what you want is to go the full range of motion all the way down all the way up top and it's okay if you can't do a lot I mean pull-ups are really difficult so especially weighted pull-ups so after that I take off my backpack and then I just do regular pull-ups until failure you know this is bodyweight exercises I'm not trying to hit a number I just do things till failure and this is one of the main exercises I do if I don't feel like doing dips and pull-ups yeah I do the other exercises you know bent over rows and chair dips and yes, guys, this is actually how I rest. No shame. If you're not resting like this, you're probably not training hard enough. I'm just kidding, guys. And now it's time to hit arms. So what I start off with is reverse curls. And reverse curls make it a lot harder. You can't really lift as much with reverse curls. And reverse curls are going to work your forearms more and work on your grip strength more, especially this backpack. You know, it's just a little handle and not a full size easy curl bar. So, so it's even more grip strength. And so I like to do reverse curls just because I haven't done them that much like my entire life. I just did regular curls. And biceps is my lacking body part. So I've been working on reverse curls because that works your brachialis as well. Then I just followed up with regular curls and it is a little bit harder with a backpack because all the weight's at the very bottom and not at the handle so it's kind of awkward so you might see me cheat a little bit so whatever i know the form form gods are gonna come at me but whatever i'm i'm not a fitness expert remember <laughs> then we got tricep extensions just try not to overextend and hurt yourself but what you want to do is imagine a pin stuck in your elbow so your elbow doesn't move there's no amount of reps that i do and i do do <laughs> and i do do three sets and then the other part that connects to the arms is the shoulders so i'm just hitting the shoulder lateral raises with this backpack honestly it was a little bit too heavy so my form really sucks so i apologize but what i do is i lean forward that way the backpack doesn't hit my legs that's what usually stops you from getting a full stretch with your shoulders so i let it go right in front of me and then I just do the normal lift and now we can hit legs i'm telling you guys this is the only leg exercise i do other than skateboarding i don't do any calf training or anything else skateboarding is literally all jumping but anyways these are pistol squats so just one-legged squats and a lot of people can't even do this exercise and it's more because they can't balance which is why I suggest trying this out if you can't, if you've never done any bodyweight exercises. You know, you gotta use your stabilizer muscles and then you gotta do one legged squats. It's pretty difficult. So, this is literally all I do for leg exercises, guys. Now, when I did go to the gym, I did squats. I did do pistol squats with dumbbells, but this is just a bodyweight workout. You guys should try it out. It's really difficult and it's also really satisfying whenever you get your first one. All right, like I said, I hope this video helped you guys out. If you guys found it helpful or informative, all right, puppy went a little crazy. If you guys made any progress with the, this type of routine or anything, uh, I appreciate it if you guys let me know, but yeah, pandemic's still happening. I'm probably not going to go to the gym for the next year, and this is probably what I'm going to be doing for a long, long time. I just want to reiterate this again, guys. There's more to life than abs. Okay, do this for your health. Do this to look better in clothes or whatever, but you don't need to be looking beach ready all year round unless you're into, unless you're really into it. That's cool. I'm just not as much into fitness as other guys are, which is totally fine. You guys follow me on Instagram at flywithjohnnytai. Subscribe to this channel. Hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Okay, and subscribe to my second channel. I just uploaded a vlog on that channel. You guys can check out that video, subscribe to it, show some love to it. And until then, stay fly, stay animosity free, make these gains, get healthier. I'm out, peace.